you can import data from HTML file to a table. Access creates a copy of the data. Access imports the data in the HTML table tag. Salary fields data type is currency. You can see first record has text. Let's see how Access handles invalid data. Close the HTML file. On the external data tab in the import and link group, click on new data source. Select from file and then HTML document from the shortcut menu. The get external data HTML document wizard is displayed. In the file name text box, type the name of the source HTML file or click on browse to display the file open dialog box. Browse to the location and choose the source HTML file. Click on Open. Select Import the source data into a new table in the current database. Or select Append a copy of the records to the table if you want to append data to the existing table. Click on OK. The Import HTML wizard starts and leads you through the import process. Select Show HTML tables. Access lists the tables in the HTML file. Select the table you want to import and click on Next. If the first row of the source HTML file contains the field names, select first row contains column headings. Access uses these column headings to name the fields in the table. You can change these names either during or after the import operation. Click on Advanced button to launch the Import Specification dialog box. You can select how date, time and number fields are formatted. In the Field Information table, you can review and change the name and data type of the destination field if you want. To create an index on the field, set Index to S. To completely skip a source column, select the checkbox for the column you want to skip. You can save these specs for future use by clicking on Save As. If you have any previously saved specs, you can click on Specs. Import Export Specifications dialog box opens. To use any one of the specs, click on Open or click on Cancel to close the dialog box. Click on OK to apply all the changes. Click on Next. You can review and change the field properties. Click on a column in the lower half of the page to display the corresponding field's properties. Access allows here also to change the name and data type of the destination field, select a column to be indexed, skip a column by selecting Do not import field. Make the necessary changes if you want. Then click on Next. Specify a primary key for the table. If you select Let Access Add Primary Key, Access adds an auto number field as the first field in the destination table and assigns it as a primary key. Or select Choose My Own Primary Key, select the field you want to use as primary key. Click on Next. Specify a name for the destination table. Click on Finish to import the data. If Access was able to import some or all the data, Save Import Steps dialog box appears. If there are any errors, the status message mentions the name of the error log table that contains the description of any errors that occurred during the import operation. You can save the details of the operation for future use as a specification. Click on Close. Customers and Customers underscore Import Errors tables appear in the navigation pane. Customers underscore Import Errors has details of the errors which were caused during the import process. You can see the error, field and row were listed. There is error in the salary field in the first row. Open the destination table in datasheet view. 
Notice that in the salary field first record where there was invalid data the value is null. If you like this video please subscribe to our channel.